everybody, Vianna here from MapleWoodRoad.com. Welcome back. Uh, welcome to lesson two in learning how to crochet. Uh, in lesson one, in the previous video, we learned how to do the chain stitch and the single crochet, which are really the building blocks that you need to get started in learning how to crochet. So now we're ready to move on and we're gonna learn a few more stitches, uh, which you'll see uh, are based on the single crochet and we are gonna grow from there. So in this video, we're gonna learn the half double crochet the double crochet and the triple crochet. So let's get started. Okay, so welcome back. So we're ready to start learning our new stitches, which again are the half double crochet, the double crochet and the treble crochet. So we're just gonna start out as we did before, making our slip knot. Okay, and then we're gonna do our chains. I'm going to do 10 chains. Okay, you're going to insert under, pull through, insert under, and pull through. If you remember, in our single crochet, we did one turning stitch. Now for the half double crochet, we're going to do two. And then when we start stitching in this again, we're gonna skip this first loop. So what I like to do is I like to put my fingernail on the second loop to just hold my place kind of, all right? And then you see we're gonna do two chains for our turning stitches. So we're just gonna do two more chains, one and two. Then what's a little bit different about these is we're going to yarn over first before we insert our hook into our work. So we're going to yarn over, and then we're gonna insert it into that second loop. So you'll see now we have three loops on our hook. So I'm gonna yarn over, and you're gonna pull through only the first one. Now we have three. You're gonna yarn over again, and pull through everything. So you'll see what happened with that turning stitch. That is now our first column, as I call them. Okay, and you'll see. So that was actually our second one. So this is one, two. We're gonna yarn over again, go into the next loop. We have three loops on our hook now. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through the first one only. Yarn over, pull through all three. Now we have three. You can see here, one, two, three. We're gonna continue doing this across until we have all 10. Okay, now we're at the end of our row. And you'll see these are a bit taller than the single crochet. And now we have 10, which is what we started with in our chain stitch. So now just like in the single crochet, we're gonna flip our work over. Again, you're gonna do those two turning stitches. That is for the half double crochet again. So we're gonna do two chains. We're gonna skip that first one because this turning chain will act as our first one. Okay, if you're not sure, you can count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is our 10. So this is where we wanna insert our hook into this one. Okay, yarn over, insert into here, and remember both loops, the top and bottom, or the back and front, whichever you prefer. Yarn over, pull through the work only. Yarn over, pull through everything. We now have two. Okay, again, yarn over, through the work only. One, two, three loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through the work only. Yarn over, pull through everything. So again, I'm just gonna finish this row.
So now you can see that I have two rows of half double crochet. And you can see again that they are a little bit taller than the single crochet. You'll see in this video that each of the stitches we're gonna learn, each one will get a little taller and a little taller. And that'll make our project a little lighter, airier, fluffier. It depends on the project that you're doing. But next we're gonna show you the double crochet. Okay, now we're ready to learn the double crochet. I've already made my 10 chains to get started. Again, remember, we're gonna skip that first loop after our turning stitches. So I'm gonna hold my finger there on the second one. Now for the double crochet, we're going to do three turning stitches because again, this stitch is going to be even taller. So we're gonna do one, two, three chains. Then just like in the half double, we're gonna yarn over, insert through our work, that second stitch. Again, we'll have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the work only. Yarn over, pull through the next two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. So we have our first two columns here. So that's one, two. We're now gonna do our third stitch. Yarn over, insert through the work. Yarn over, work only. In all of these stitches, you're gonna uh, pull through the work only on your first move. Then you're gonna yarn over again, pull through the next two. Yarn over again, pull through the last two. And I'm just going to continue along this row. So now we've completed our first row of double crochet. You can count how many stitches we have here, or how many columns I call them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, <laughs> and ten. See, that's why I always count just to be sure okay i even still get fooled sometimes so again now we're going to turn our work you're going to do your three chain stitches for the double crochet and you're going to continue on as before okay now we're ready to move on to our treble crochet so again i've done my cha my chains to get started and now for the treble crochet we're gonna do four turning chains. I'm gonna hold my finger on that second stitch as before, and we're gonna do four turning chains. If you remember, the single crochet was one turning chain, half double is two, double is three, and treble is four. Again, the reason for that is because each one of these stitches gets taller, so it needs to match up. So I'm gonna hold my finger here, and I'm gonna do four chains. One, two, three, four. Now what's different about the treble, again, because it's taller, we're going to yarn over twice. So you're gonna yarn over and yarn over again, okay? So now you can see there's three loops over our hook. We're gonna insert into our work. We now have four. Okay, yarn over, just like the others, pull through the work only. Okay, and now we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through two loops each time. So yarn over, pull through two. We're down to three. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Okay, you can see that is significantly taller. Again, again, we're gonna yarn over twice. Insert into our work. Yarn over, pull through the work only. Yarn over, pull through two at a time. So the first two, 
yarn over the next two, yarn over the last two. So you can see we now have three. Okay, so here's my completed row of treble crochet. Again, you can see I have 10 columns here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Again, for the next row, you're gonna turn your work over, do your four turning chains, and then continue along as before. Also, the reason for those turning chains is to keep your work even on the sides. If it wasn't for that, our work would start weaving like this. Okay, that'll keep everything nice and neat. Especially when you're first getting started, and even when you get more experienced like me, so, you know, you occasionally wanna still count how many you know, are in your row, just to make sure you're keeping your number consistent and even. Okay, so that's how you do those stitches. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. I'm always here to answer and help. Um, I'd love to see any projects that you've created, so please post them on our Facebook page or on our website at maplewoodroad.com. And good luck and happy crocheting!